Welcome back to the BNB streaming channel where we go over streaming tech and tips. Uh, also, we document our progress on a brand new YouTube gaming channel that we created that's separate from this channel. So we have the gaming channel and then we have this channel where we go over the tech and tips and, and essentially document its progress. Uh, one of the things that you're going to hear a lot of people tell you if you're looking for um, ways to grow on Twitch or other streaming platforms is to create content on YouTube because YouTube is so much more discoverable. Well, we want to find out if creating gaming content on YouTube in 2020 is, uh, and especially in oversaturated games, if it's even possible. So we started documenting our progress on that channel. Like I said, it's a brand new channel, so our numbers are very small right now. But in this video, we're going to go over uh, one of our recent experiments where we created two videos where we um, created a, a, a review of an update for uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and then we created a niched down video where it covered one aspect of that. So we're going to talk about that right now. So this was our uh, gaming channel experiment uh, for this month. What we decided to do was make a PUBG patch review like we've done in the past or a patch overview list listing all the features of the new new upcoming patch in addition making a separate video that just went over a specific aspect of the patch uh, in this case it was a particular the the PUBG battle bride pass and then we wanted to be able to compare the results between the two to see which one got more uh, views which one was more um, discoverable in search and uh, and things of that nature I really wasn't quite sure what to expect, uh, but I will say this. I definitely didn't expect uh, these results. Keep in mind when I show you these views, this is a brand new gaming channel. We're trying to see if we are able to grow a gaming channel from the ground in an oversaturated game and to see what works and what doesn't. So these view numbers aren't going to blow you away. But the point is to see if we are uh, doing things that will uh, increase traffic compared to previous videos. Uh, or if, if it doesn't work, then we'll know. We can rule it out and not use a particular strategy. So here are the results so far for our PUBG patch 9.2 video. Currently it has 17 views. And if you look here on the screen, you can tell the, the actual traffic has decreased as the interest in the video uh, wanes, which typically happens with these particular videos because they're only relevant at the beginning of a season. Then people stop looking for the videos uh, regarding the update. If we go to the reach, it had 92 impressions, which with a 6.5 impression click through rate. Um, I tried to use a similar uh, style for the thumbnail for both videos. They don't look identical, but they're a very similar styling um, to make sure one didn't seem more clickable than the other one. If you look at the traffic sources down here, 29.4% um, was from uh, my channel page, 177 through browse. Um, here's the one I'm curious about is YouTube search because um, you want to be ranking in search as a smaller channel. You want people to be able to find your videos and use hashtags that um, are being searched enough for you to be found but not uh, oversaturated where you're buried down the list. Now let's look at this next video. Uh, the analytics for the next one, which is just the PUBG Battle Bride Pass. It's one aspect of the patch. The video was very boring. I'm not even going to lie. I don't like the video. It is the worst video I've made, but I wanted to put it out there for the for the sake of the experiment. Uh, the thumbnail was decent, very similar to the current one. And here are the analytics for uh, the PUBG Battle Bride Pass. 81 views. That's by far the most views uh, of any of the videos on the gaming channel. Two and a half watch time hours is a very short video, so that's that's to be expected. Let's, this is the interesting thing right here on the right hand side. 82.1% of the views came from YouTube search. So it's showing you how important it is for you to find titles and terms that aren't just appealing, but also will help you rank well in search. That's why this video did so much better. It wasn't just reaching the subscribers we have on the channel with a couple other randoms. 82% of the views were being found straight through YouTube search. So it, that pretty much accounts for the subscribers we have 
and then everything else was what people were finding in search. Not everything, but most of it. There's some other here, external. I don't know what external is. Uh, I don't know where I know what external is, but I don't know where the traffic came from. But most of it was from YouTube search. And then we go to reach. Here's what's really, really great about this one. 196 impressions. Once again, I know I'm making a big deal. Like these numbers are a big thing. I know they're not huge when you compare them to successful YouTube channels, but for a new YouTube gaming channel and seeing the improvement, this is what we want to see. We want to see from video to video that we are learning and we are uh, increasing traffic to the channel. And if you look at the diagram, it's still trending up. We haven't seen a drop off yet in the impressions. So people are still finding this video in uh, YouTube search. Now, the other big thing that can get you a lot of traffic is when YouTube starts recommending your videos, you, the YouTube algorithm will learn um, what people like your videos and begin recommending it more often. That's not going to happen a lot at the beginning. The YouTube algorithm doesn't know who your channel is or who would like your channel. So until it learns that and you've had time to get uh, a lot of videos and it, it starts to see that, um, that trend, then YouTube search is very important because that's where your traffic's gonna come from um, for the most part. It also had a 25.5% um, click-through rate, which was much better than our, what was it, five or 6% for the other video. Once again, this was a much more boring video focusing on a very small aspect of the patch. But because it was niched down, so when you think of a niche, you're on YouTube, you're making gaming content. So you go and you make content about of a specific game, so you've niched down. But the problem is, everyone's making content for games on YouTube. Uh, the particular game we pick, which PUBG, is way oversaturated. There's way too much content out there for PUBG. So I needed to niche down even more. So once we niche down for making Patch 9.2, which is a video that a lot of creators make, almost all the people that make PUBG content make patch overviews, I niched down to a specific aspect of the patch and look at the difference in the results. In hindsight, had I known this video would, would uh, do so well, I would have made it better. I would have made it more interesting um, to, to, uh, to hopefully show people there's value on the channel. Um, the problem is I'm trying to make a lot of content to test different ideas to see what's work, what works so I know what to invest time into. So the next time we do one of these, I will definitely put more effort into it. And the view time wasn't terrible. The average view time was almost two minutes uh, on a five minute video. Um, I, that's the average across everyone. So people were definitely clicking out of the video. Um, but I'm not too disappointed in that because I, I didn't think it was the greatest video to begin with, but I put it out there mainly to test the YouTube search more than anything else to see what the difference between patch 9.2 and this particular video, uh, what it would do. Now, with that said, we're going to do one more experiment. We're going to go back to our patch 9.2 video. We're going to go to details and we are going to update the title. Uh, it's still going to be patch 9.2, but we're going to um, patch 9.2 isn't driving traffic uh, to this video, but battle bride pass is. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to move it. We're going to say, we're going to put PUBG Battle Bride Pass, comma, and just put it at the beginning. So PUBG Battle Bride Pass. Battle Bride Pass was already in the title, but it was uh, it was the, the third, second or third thing over. Um, YouTube, YouTube search or how it like prioritizes the titles, it prioritizes the beginning more than the end. So we're going to see as an experiment if this traffic, which has flatlined, this, this video is not getting much traffic anymore. It's not ranking in YouTube search. So we're going to add that. We're going to update a couple of our, um, our tags and TubeBuddy to make sure that the tags actually include Battle Bride Pass, which it, I think it already does. I'm going to make sure. And we're going to see if it increases any traffic. I'm concerned that it might not actually do anything because um, the pass the pass has been out for a week and the tr the the search has to be decreasing already. But just in case, we're going to do this and see if it works. There's no reason not to try it, just to see if it works. So we know it definitely works because the patch has been out for a week. Um, so 
tune in next time and we'll find out if it actually made a difference or not. Have a good one.